about the audition. And it's funny, I got it from uh, talking to Billy Hopkins and Alexa Vogel about what they look for. They look for the make sure transitions on every line. They look to make sure that somebody has an objective. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Someone has a level of intimacy, okay? And we, we can call intimacy me for right now. And they make sure that there's an energy being sent to the other character. And that we call action. A lot of the time, and I call this owner, if you have an objective that means something that the character wants in that scene, if you have a level of intimacy, and you have, you're sending a level of energy to the other character that you're talking about, or talking to, this will call it energy, more than likely, you're going to get a callback. And it's interesting, a lot of people forget if, even if just these three things operate, and let's say you have nothing else going on, <laughs> you have no clarity on personalization, you don't have a sensory, you're not clear about the place, but these three things go on, that means they're seeing a real specificity, we'll call this one, real specificity in what you're trying to do. And that specificity allows them to see you're not green, you understand the text, you're making a certain approach, you're attacking circumstance, and a lot of the time, if you can't get all three, if you have two of the three, that's enough to get a call back. Mm. It really is interesting. And Alexa Fogel told, told me this years and years ago. If I see a level of intimacy and see what that actor, that the actor is making a choice on what it is they want in that scene, that's enough for me to see their talent. And that, that's an interesting element to think about, guys, because if you go, hey, look, two of these three are enough for me to get through the door, it takes the pressure off the audition. It takes the work off it. And you're specific enough to know, hey, look, i got to have something I want, so let me make sure I know what the want is. i got to have a level of intimacy operating in some way, shape, or form, or I have to have a connection to the energy that I'm sending. Okay, and that's action. We'll talk about beats and actions next week, but we're going to talk about a little bit about action right now. Okay, action we define as the emotional and psychological energy from which one sends the words. The emotional, psychological energy from which one sends the words. And you want to think of it in general in terms of yourself. Anytime we talk, we're sending an energy. Right now, what am I sending to you? Trying to help you what? Understand. Understand. Absolutely. And in that energy, there becomes emotion. We move forward. We move forward again. Is someone receiving it? Are they taking it in? If they are, we're going to move forward and keep going on an explanation. We're going to keep trying to get something clear. But without action, the energy of the moment-to-moment -moment life of the scene can die, can fade. Okay? In other words, if I'm not sending a character who I'm talking to an energy, then the, the scene, the, the dialogue that which I'm talking about can lay flat. It has no purpose. It has no intent. It has no motivation. And in that, it can die. Okay? So a lot of the times, guys, if you keep yourself this specific on the audition, and the audition, again, is a very different process than when you actually book the part. But if you keep on up, as, uh, as an idea for you of, okay, I gotta know what I want, I gotta have a level of intimacy, and I gotta have an energy from which the words are being sent. As long as I'm in that level of clarity, I'm moving from one space to the next. So this is also another way to get to moment to moment work, okay? Again, I can't do objective need and action without doing the five W's. So I still always and foremost have to do the five W's first. Then, after that, once I've done the five W's, then I can start looking and clarifying these three things. Okay? Is that clear? A lot of the time, guys, we get caught in the audition that we're going to try to do too much and the actors don't get, are not specific on what their homework is. If you can go five W's, then clarifying ONA for the audition, that's enough homework. That homework itself could take you 10 to 12 hours just on this alone. Okay?